If you use Dropbox for storing your files, for sharing them with your team or for anything else, it's an amazing tool. I absolutely love it. They've added a new feature which enables you to upload an image or a video directly from Dropbox to your social media accounts. So the way that you're going to do this is just go to an image or a video within your Dropbox and here you'll see an option to publish, which is new. This never used to be here. So you click on here and you can go ahead and choose whether you want to publish it directly to Instagram, Facebook. You can see that YouTube and TikTok is coming soon. So if I go ahead, click onto my Facebook page and then select next, it's going to ask you to connect up your apps. So click on connect apps and it's going to walk you through the wizard to make sure that this is connected. So you'll need to log in. So you go ahead and click on continue, select the page that you want it to be connected to and click on next and then give it some permission. So what is Dropbox allowed to do? Just toggle any of these off if you don't want them to actually be able to do this. I'm just going to click on done and now it's connecting Dropbox to Facebook. So now it says that I've linked. You can just click on OK. And now that that's done, once I have done this, you can just say add the post details. So if I click onto here, because now I've connected with Facebook, it's automatically connected to Instagram as well. So I can click on this and then you can write your description of whatever you want. So I can just say in here, um, thank you so much for an amazing review. Um, and then just click on publish and that's it. It's going to be published then directly to your page. This is huge in terms of saving time, especially with videos in your workflow. If you are sharing things with a team and your team are editing things for them to be able to do this for you is an absolute game changer. So once you've gone ahead and done that, then you are absolutely done. So I hope you love that feature. I think it's a really cool new feature that they brought in and I think it's going to save a lot of time in my video workflow.